Skies, good morning. Breaking news this half hour. US President Joe Biden has just declared a state of emergency in Kentucky, one of several states smashed by deadly tornado. Nine's Jerry DeMassey is in the US and he's following this story for us. Good morning, Jerry. Up to 100 people are now feared dead. Good morning. Yes, 79 people confirmed dead this morning and that number is expected to rise well above 100 as rescue crews continue their efforts. It is a massive amount of damage. 30 individual tornadoes swept across six states. That's an enormous area, destroying towns in its path, winds reaching up to 190 kilometres per hour. One of the hardest hit locations was a candle factory in Kentucky. There were 110 people working inside when the roof collapsed on top of them and 70 of those workers are still missing. The governor has just said it will be a miracle if anyone else is found alive. You're about to hear from a man called Ivy Williams whose wife Janine was working at the factory and is still one of those people missing. Have a listen. I want to find my wife. <laughs> I want to find her. I hope she's still somewhere safe. I hope she's somewhere safe. And baby, please call me soon we get connected. Please call me. I'm looking for you, baby. We've been looking for you. Me, Tamara, the kid, we all looking for you right now. <laughs> Oh, isn't it just so devastating to listen to that poor man? There are many more families in his position today. Several homes have been destroyed, as well as an Amazon factory in Illinois and a nursing home in Arkansas. As you say, President Biden has just addressed the nation, calling it an unimaginable tragedy. And it is just two weeks out from Christmas, Sophie. Absolutely heartbreaking. Jerry, thank you.